What up, morning guys? Welcome to today's video. Today is the day. All right, so you're probably wondering, time for what? We heard back from the vet, and our little Lola is a healthy little goat, completely healthy. Lola has proven all along to be really healthy. So clearly, she's come from someplace good. She did spend a little bit of time in the sales bar when we bought her, just a few hours during the day. But we wanted to make sure that she was healthy, so we followed up with blood work, and we got the results back last night, and we got the clear from our vet that she can be integrated into the herd. Now there are, there is one disease, I think, that can not show up in blood work until they're older, so she could have it, and it might not show up until after she's a year old. Obviously, we're not gonna keep her alone and separated until she's a year old. Uh, we lowered the risk by doing all the blood work to make sure that she's healthy. And her blood work has been spotless from the beginning to the end, so we know that there's a really good chance, more likely, that she's not gonna have that one thing. She did test negative for that one thing, but like I said, it can show up later in life. So we are gonna integrate her today. It's time, and this is her stall. I'm gonna tell you guys what we're gonna do so you can tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> or give me better suggestions. So this is her stall. This is the bed that she sleeps in. We put this in the other barn where she was sleeping and she loves this thing. She can climb in, she can climb out. We put hay in there for her and we put some straw for her bedding. And the reason we're putting it in here is because um, it's warm, like this plastic is warmer than wood. So we want her to be able to cuddle up and get warm when she needs to. So that's her bed if she so chooses. She has a climbing box. And the other thing that we're gonna do for her is we're gonna pair her up with one of our goats. So she's gonna have her own stall for a very short time and it's because we know our goats and we know they're not gonna accept her and she's young still. We'll still bottle feed her. But we're gonna try and get her a friend. So one friend that's gonna spend a lot of time with her so that when she does get integrated into the whole entire herd, she has somebody that will comfort her and that can keep her safe and protect her. Kind of like what we did with Gracie and honey when honey was a baby so today we're gonna try it all out we're gonna see who's the best one so cast your votes now who do you think it'll be do you think it'll be mama lola who's the sweetest goat she literally mothers everybody <laughs> as she tells her baby off or do you, we're not even gonna try rosie with her because rosie is is not that kind of a goat or do you think it will be one of the babies that will spend time with her we have baby lola baby Rosie, and then over there we have our little boy, our little weather. Actually, he's not out there because I haven't let him out yet. <laughs> if you heard baying, it was him saying, let me out. Oh. Come on, little man, wait. He never is patient. He's going where he wants to go, but he's always in a hurry to get there. Whoa. All right, there we go. You guys are out. Lola is here. Do you see how she t twists her head like that? She's like, you leaving me? She's like, I don't understand, but she does love this stall. Did you show her her bed? Okay, I need Rosie up. All right, we're gonna try Rosie with her. We think Rosie's the best choice, but we're gonna see. She actually really likes it in here. Clearly, she knows what a barn is like. All right, you're about to get a friend. You are about to get a friend, little girl. I know, horns are not fun. She's so small. Mm -hmm. Lola gets a friend. So far, so good. We should have fed them their grain in here. Has Lola had her grain? Mm -hmm. I heard a cat. Ollie! Yeah. She's like, Mama, help me! <laughs> Oh no! Rosie! That was not okay. She knows her bed though. See, watch. She'll see if she can get in it with those pajamas on. 
Get in there. Hey. Okay, should we? Can we know that this is normal goat behavior? But it's her baby. It's her baby. Come here. And Sophie thought she's been looking so big, but really she's tiny. Oh, first poop. <laughs> no, she already pooped over there. Oh. All right, put her in her box and see what happens. Okay, yeah. But she's tiny, tiny compared to that thing. Oh, uh, no. So I put some straw. Oops. I put some straw in there. <laughs> she's just like, yeah, this is a good bed. We put some straw in there so she can be warm and so it's just, she loves this bed. Like, we find her in the mornings when we go out to the barn and she is so cuddled in there and so happy. All right, so now we don't know what we wanna do. You guys think, actually, I think I know what we're gonna do. Let's leave her in here. Rosie, you're supposed to be kind when you're in heat. That's why we chose her, guys. I don't know if that's true, Sophie. When they're pregnant, sometimes they can get kind. But sometimes when you're in, yeah, well, and when they're in well, heat. they like people more when they're in heat. Yeah, that's true. So we have two choices. We can leave her in here by herself and let her have this stall. And then they can see each other and get used to each other across the way. How's she supposed to see? She stands on, the, on this bed. Or we can leave her in here and let them just fight it out. Hi, but she has no horns and she's not old enough to fight. So what are we going to do? I like the chance to get to bond with this one. So you want her in here? Yeah. But also, would the boy be better? No, I saw, I don't think the boy would be better. She's rolling. Oh, she was having a nap. And now she wants to roll, but it, the horses have been napping. So I just want to tell you guys what it's like having Sam as a husband. So I just came out to open the chicken coop and this door keeps closing on me. So I prop it open with wood, but I came out this morning and this was here. It's just sitting here. Nobody told me about it. I just came out and it was here. Isn't that awesome? All right, out you go chickies. I think I'm going to leave this door closed. Especially in the winter so that there's no wind not oh you guys need water. Let me get water for you So the chickens have uh, a ew, a waterer that plugs in too I have this feeder and I love it because you only have to fill it like once a week maybe Oops. but the chickens don't like it so in our old barn, I had it hung. They don't like it because they can't scratch in all the food. I like it because it keeps the food clean and because they can't scratch in the food. It's almost winter. I'm going to bring that back out and they're going to have to eat from that. They hate it. I have this feeder over here right now. Chippy. It is freezing out. <laughs> We're giving the chickens our leftover blueberries. Come on, chicky chickies. <laughs> Where are the rest? We put out some zucchini and they're eating it. So we actually threw the zucchini on the ground this morning and Daisy got a hold of it and she went running and she was so proud of herself that she got this zucchini and she just was running around with this zucchini. I didn't have the camera with me or I would have filmed it. Anyway, it is chiropractor day on the day of my day farm. So we're gonna go and get ready, but I saw a package just arrived. So we're gonna go see what is in the package. <laughs> Everybody keeps talking about how we should not do rat traps because if a rat dies of poison and one of our dogs eats it, then they're going to be... He got special ones. You put them on a bucket, they go in the bucket and they... Can't get out? Oh, so you guys, he listened. <laughs> you hear that? Sam listened to you. So this goes on top of a bucket. Do you want me to get you a bucket? I know where all the buckets are. I know where, I know where buckets are. Do you want me to get them? Yeah. yeah. So you put these on top of the bucket, the rats go in and then they can't get out. I've seen this on TikTok. All right, so there you go. Safe dogs. We're gonna check on our baby. 
We decorated it a little bit more today. We did not go to the store yesterday and get more stuff, which was a mistake. <laughs> but we are still gonna keep decorating. I, we're gonna, we just need more time. Dude, this is so ugly. I love it. Don't pull on it. Oh, it looked adorable. It looks so bad. Well, hi, babe. You want to come out of there? No, 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 no. <laughs> She's covered in hay. You guys see it? It's all over her neck. Come, come on. on. Come on. Get your halter on. Okay, let me do. <laughs> Molly's like, I've missed you. Yeah, the dogs love her. Molly loves her. Oh. I hung this up the other day. It's 10 degrees in the barn, but it's actually feeling freezing. When we go up to the other barn, we're gonna see what the temperature is up there and we're gonna compare it. Anyway, we're gonna get ready for the chiropractor and I'm gonna start decorating the big barn too. I have a Christmas tree. It's just a tiny little Christmas tree. Like it's tall. I think it's a skinny tree. Anyway, we're gonna try and put it up, see if that works. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but one of our horses is missing. Guess who? Who's missing? Honey. Honey. Honey the Houdini, on, she climbs under that fence. Sam's been trying to fix it. And she goes in with the grass. Let's see what the temperature is. Oh, it's the same, 10 degrees. <laughs> oh, our very first contender for the, <laughs> the grass dies. She does not like Sophie to leave her. She's really attached to her. We're bringing you some hay in here, Missy. So here's the tree. Sophie's gonna build it. Looks like this. That might not be a good idea. Holiday. I think it's a pencil tree, which is my favorite. Yeah, I'm getting a white one for my room. So Sophie wants to put a tree in her room this year. I said she could. Sophie <laughs> dressed Lola up. <laughs> Isn't she so cute? <laughs> she is adorable, literally adorable. Molly's best friend. I got Ellie and Molly hates her. Molly loves the goat. I don't know why. We don't know why, but I think it's because Molly's owner is quiet and calm. So Ellie, Molly doesn't like crazy, obnoxious people. <laughs> Maybe why she's not my best friend. Oh, Sam wanted me to move some mats in here because he says in the winter time, if horses have like snow and stuff on their feet, it's gonna be hard on them to come in here. Remember, it was you guys that suggested that we use this space for horses. Sam brought the heater over, so he's gonna come. I'm gonna text him and tell him to come and start it. We're gonna keep it warm in here for our, for our Cairo. And the goat will not let Sophie out of her sight. <laughs> she's like dragging me. Listen, she's gone to get a horse. Come on, we gotta go this way. Come on, this way, come on. <laughs> she, she has something to say. What do you have to say? Hey, sweet Lola, she's our Christmas elf this year. She's gonna be our Christmas goat. She's like, I really want to climb up here, Laura. <laughs> Go for it. He also wants me to put more uh, um, things here. I'm gonna push this one over and then I'm gonna put another one so that Storm can't step off of it. And this is the tree. So this is the tree. I have a couple of things that I'm gonna put on it. There's some lights. This is gonna be the Christmas tree for the, for the horse barn. I'm excited for them to see it. And there's gonna be a goat present underneath it. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna film when she's here. I, like I've told you guys a million times, I love our farrier. I love our massage girl and I love our uh, chiropractor. I love them all so much. Like, how to not get shocked. How not to get shocked. Anyway, we love them. So when she comes, when they come, it's like a party for us. It's like we sit down and we just spend all of our time chatting with them and hanging out with them. So Sophie's gonna get Storm already. Because his owner's not here. Because his owner's not here, but you also co-ride him. Yeah, I do everything for him though. I clean his stall, I give him grain. We ride him the most. And she's at school. That's not gonna be true for a while. He gets like a couple weeks break, sir. Yeah, he gets a break, unfortunately, because until Sam can drive again, we won't be able to drive him in. But I have, but we know where we can drive him in for lessons in the winter, so. We're finished with the Cairo. And I've been decorating our tree. It's got lights on it, so I'm gonna, I'm going to plug it in. But first I have to get some more decorations. It's kind of looking lame. 
See what I did there? Lame. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this. I'm going to dig out more decorations. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to make it little, make it pretty, and then we're going to put it in the horse barn. Come on, let's go. Every time we take her down to the goat barn, she runs and pees. <laughs> She's like, I'm coming, goats! <laughs> And honey's back. So I wanted to tell you guys, I keep forgetting, but the reason that honey keeps going to the grass to eat is because when we bought her, she was always on grass. So she was born on grass, raised on grass. They're a stormy boy. She much prefers grass over hay. Every time we come down here, the duck and the goose are like, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> You should put her in her little box so she, she remembers. In there all the time. I know, but you should put her in to remind her that she can go in there and... Did you give her fresh water? She's like, don't leave me. Don't you know that you're beautiful?